we have had some requests to make a video of what we do after uh, babies are born. Uh, so we've done that. I just had a uh, doe kid this morning or today. Uh, here's the, the sequence that we're going to go through here. We're going to make sure that the mother doesn't lay on one of the kids while uh, continuing to uh, have kids or trying to shed her after birth. We also want to ensure mother cleans up each kid. Uh, without cleaning the kids up, she might not recognize them in the future and she may reject them. Ensure that each uh, kid gets milk within the first one or two hours. That's that cholesterol that's going to pass on their immunities. Uh, that's important. Once they have had a good drink of that, then we want to drench each of the kids with a Bargard 99, which helps with uh, fighting E. coli. It has to be done after they have uh, the, the milk. Next, we want to trim the kids' navel cords, make sure that uh, those are clean and uh, disinfected so that they don't cause uh, infection to go into the body. Then, uh, if we've had uh, to go inside the mother to help deliver them, uh, we want to doctor the, the mother with uh, antibiotics and maybe bionamine uh, for pain. Once we have taken care of the kids and we put uh, igloos out in their pens so that they can get in there and sleep and mother won't lay on them during that time and it also in cold weather it, it helps keep them warm. Also we want to make sure that uh, in, in the first uh, 24 hours that the kids are finding the teats on their own and that the mother uh, does shed her after birth. Though so just had triplets. Next thing we want to make sure is that she's cleaning the babies. If she doesn't clean the babies, later on she may not recognize them as being hers and she'll reject them. So we want to make sure that she gets to clean all of them up so she'll know them. Had two red bucks and a doe. The second thing we want to be concerned with kid had to go in and pull the kids is uh, we pulled these all at the same time but as mothers have one after another one thing we want to watch for is make sure she doesn't lay down on one while she's trying to have kids on another or get rid of her after birth so that's the next thing for the next couple of days while they're trying to get strong is to make sure the mother doesn't lay down on one and suffocate them babies are starting to look for something to eat so we want to make sure that there's milk flowing we'll uh, try to see if we can get a little milk to come out of the teat if it has any problem we want to check and make sure that uh, there's a little waxy uh, plug in the tip you can get that out with your fingernail just uh, scratch it off that's the first thing we want to make sure all three of them get uh, a good drink of uh, their colostrum and we want to do that within the first uh, couple of hours. So we'll give them a chance to do it on their own first. And then if they're having trouble, we'll help them uh, find that. Uh, if they can't nurse from the, the teat itself, uh, we'll uh, milk some out and uh, put it in a bottle and uh, try to get them drinking from a bottle to at least get that cholesterol in uh, in the first couple of hours. We've had all three of these have a good drink. One found it on their own, on his own. The others uh, were looking for it. We just went ahead and uh, uh, my wife held the head and I just put the, the other two back by the teat. They found it and started nursing. So all three of them have had a good drink. The next thing we're going to do is give them some bar garden 99 if we have kids that their back legs are weak where they can't quite get up and, and walk on them we're just going to make sure that uh, they get to the milk for the first couple of days uh, these both have been up but they still have a little bit of weak leg so we just want to make sure that uh, they are getting to their milk, uh, that'll strengthen up as they uh, go along, so we don't worry about that. This time we also like to weigh uh, the, each of the kids uh, right after being born. 
Got a little scale here with a, a, a little basket to hold them in. So we always weigh our kids after they're born to see uh, what their weight was. After the kids have had their first colostrum milk, a good drink, we want to go ahead and give them two cc's of this Bargard 99. We do that orally and we want to do that within the first four to six hours um, of their birth. This helps with uh, E. coli in, in the younger years. We've had good luck with this so we continue to do it. We're about to uh, doctor the navel cord. This is 7% uh, iodine and we put it in a little cup. We're going to cut the navel cord uh, so it's about uh, three-fourths of an inch or an inch. Uh, we disinfect the scissors. We're going to cut that cord and then we're going to take the iodine and uh, doctor that area fully. Uh, if, if you don't do that, you can have bacteria that goes inside the babies and uh, we've lost a, a nice little boy one time because once that gets in from that navel cord, it goes all throughout the this body. Dough we had to go in and help uh, deliver this, so we have uh, put bacteria into her. So we give her an antibiotic shot for three days and following each antibiotic shot, we always give the probias uh, to help put good bacteria back into the stomach. Because uh, we had to go in, uh, that causes some pain on her. So we also give her uh, a banamine shot. It normally is just one that's needed right here. Two last things we're gonna do over the next 24 hours. One, we're gonna make sure that she sheds her afterbirth. Uh, need to make sure that happens. Uh, if not, we're going to give a, a shot of oxytocin to uh, help uh, get that uh, rid. The other thing is we're going to come out a couple of times during the day to make sure that they are finding the teat. And uh, if we come out and they're sleeping, then we're going to assume that they are getting the milk. If we come out and they're crying, then we're going to assume that maybe they aren't getting them up. But we want to make sure that they are finding the teat on their own uh, during this first day or so. Uh, this is going to wrap it up. We're about ready to go in and say another one's done.